What's up, guys? Coach Seth here, Superior Athlete. So today we're talking about plantar fasciitis. What I'm going to give to you guys today is basically a 10-minute routine that you can do pretty much every every day. Um, and you want to do this every day, especially if you have this injury right now. Uh, but if you don't have this, I don't want you to think that this video isn't for you because what we're going to be focusing on today is developing some strength in the foot and a lot of uh, a couple other relieviation uh, tactics for this uh, specific injury. But this stuff is going to be beneficial for you as an athlete. So it will help you to perform better on the court as well. So don't think if you don't have this that you can't use some of these. You just don't have to be as uh, strict with things as if if you do have this injury. So if you're new here, my name is Seth Thomas. I'm a strength and conditioning coach, and I help you guys become better athletes for basketball. So if you're interested in more videos just like this one, make sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notified for each one of my videos. As always, make sure to check the links in the description box below, as well as my channel merch link. Those of you that don't know, plantar fasciitis is, is the bottom of the foot, right around that heel area. Um, but it, it, it does create, it's not a, a sh like sharp shooting pain, but it is, unless it's like a severe case, in which case it can be pretty painful, but it's more of a discomfort feeling and it's a, it's a limitation real. And we don't want that. So we got to get, we got to get focused to get rid of this and kind of weed it out, really just get the feet stronger anyways. And, um, that ligament stronger as well. So we're gonna go over this 10 minute routine that I like to do, and this is something that you can do before bed or right when you get up, as long as you just get it in at some part of the day. This is gonna be very helpful for this injury. And like I said, for you you people that don't have this injury, you can use this as a preventative maintenance and just to get the feet and ligaments in that area stronger that's also going to help you perform better on the court all right so there's a few things that we need to focus on in this routine and i'm going to go over all of these so first off i like to try to alleviate some of that stress that's going on in there so uh, what happens is usually there's a lot of a lot of buildup in there and it kind of just feels like knotted for the most part uh we want to really spend some time on getting that uh, tissue broken up in there. So a great way to do this is to roll it out on something. So this is a foot roller. This is what I use and have used. Um, it's very helpful. It's got little ridges here, which helps out a lot. Um, and it just goes back and forth. You can probably pick this up. I think I got this at Walmart for somewhere around $10. Um, so they're, they're not very pricey at all. Uh, if you don't have this or want to go even lower on the price, I think you can pick up a lacrosse ball for a few dollars. Um, and as far as like the ball, you can use other things like a tennis ball, um, but just be aware that the tennis ball, in my opinion, is not quite firm enough. You want something that's pretty firm, so a lacrosse ball works well. If you don't have it and you want to get started like right now, I'm going to go, it's not recommended, but I'm going to give you something that I do sometimes. Just find like a firm edge of something, like maybe like the edge of a chair or a step of some sort. Just be super careful with this one. Don't go crazy with it. You don't want to create any uh, excessive problems or anything like that. But you can use this if you if this is all you have for right now. I will recommend getting a foot roller of some sort or a lacrosse ball but yeah you're just going to roll that position out and we're going to do this we're going to start it off it's kind of like the warm-up we're getting it uh, loosened up and we're going to do this for about one minute uh, one minute on each side so that's going to be two minutes total once we get done with that then we can move straight into the exercise and you don't need to do any rest in between you can if you want to it's going to increase the time a little bit but you can just go right into the next one if you want um, just to maximize that time so the reason i like to do these shorter for one we don't need a lot of uh drawn out things for something like this and two you're more likely to do it the shorter it is so it's short sweet to the point and uh it's meant for you to be able to just get up do it not have to think about it too much and then get on for the rest of your day all right so for all of these we're going to do these with no shoes on whenever you have the shoes on Obviously, it becomes very restricting to uh, developing those muscles in there. Shoes are designed to protect the foot, 
But what we want to do is focus on the foot muscle. So that's why we want to keep the shoes off and obviously direct more of the attention to this area. But this first like exercise we want to do is going to be toe walks. So you're just going to tiptoe basically and you're going to do this nice and slow and you're going to do it for about 30 seconds. The next one is going to be a single leg stand. Now whenever we do these, we're just going to elevate that heel a little bit. Now we don't need to be all the way up on onto the toes, but we do want that heel off of the ground to direct more of the attention um, on the toes and on the ball of the foot. That's going to engage a lot more of those muscles in the foot. So for the single leg stand, we're gonna get 15 seconds on each side. The next one is gonna be a single leg RDL hold. And once again with this, we're not gonna be flat footed. We're gonna elevate that heel a little bit. This one's a little bit more on the challenging side. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And if you need to kind of modify it a, a little bit, you, can, you don't have to be all the way into that RDL position where the the, the back is like parallel to the floor. You can kind of be, a, have the back a little bit elevated. That's going to modify it a little bit if you're not quite used to this movement. The same with that one. That one is gonna be 15 seconds on each side. Next one's gonna be cliffhangers. So this one, we're gonna have a, um, a ledge of some sort. So like a step or anything like that, an elevated uh, platform and we're going to just step off of it. We want the balls of the feet right at the edge of the platform. And we're just gonna do both feet with this one. And this one's gonna be 30 second hold. And you don't have to be elevated or anything with this one. You can be just level with the platform on this one. That's gonna engage it a lot anyways. Next one's gonna be kickstand raises. This one's a little bit more on the uh, challenging side as far as form and everything goes, but it's gonna be similar to the cliffhangers but what we're gonna do with this is direct it to one foot. And so uh, we don't need to go, we don't need to lower the heel below the platform. Once again on this, uh, we just need to focus on going up. Whenever we go up, we're not just moving uh, the leg up and down. The entire body comes up with this whenever we go up into that raise. This one's more of a rep one, but you can just count, you can just time this one out as well. So 15 seconds on each side as well with this one. That's about it for the exercises. Now with the exercises in that little bubble right there, you're gonna do two rounds of that. The whole round itself is gonna be about two and a half minutes. So two rounds of that is gonna equal five minutes. And then we got the rollouts, a minute on each side. That's gonna be seven minutes. The next two things we're gonna do is gonna be the stretching portion of this routine. We wanna make sure and stretch this out and make sure we get that mobility and flexibility in there as well. So the first one we're gonna do is the plantar wall stretch. So we're gonna be up against the wall. It's gonna be sorta of like you're gonna do a calf stretch. So the heel's on the ground, but we're gonna focus on bringing the knee forward a little bit. So sometimes you have to sit back a little bit more and then bring that knee forward. So we're gonna hold 30 seconds on each side with this. And the next one is gonna be the Dorsey stretch. So we're gonna be on the floor for this one. I've talked about this stretch before, but what we're gonna do is kind of be in a sprinter position and we're forcing, not forcing, we're kind of easing the knee towards the floor. And as we do this, we're kind of directing the heel towards the floor as well. So that's gonna create that pretty good dorsiflexion um, in the ankle position. That's what we want. Now we don't wanna force it so much that it's causing extra pain. Uh, so just be aware of that. But as you get further down towards the floor, uh, that heel is gonna come up a little bit. And then we're, we're just gonna direct the heel all the way to the floor. So it's gonna be pretty uncomfortable but this does a good job at getting that dorsi stretch and that dorsi flexion. And so we're, we're moving throughout this movement, but we're gonna do it for 30 seconds, basically 30 seconds on each side. So the exercises themselves takes five minutes with the two rounds. We got two minutes for the rollout and we got two minutes for the stretching. So that's gonna be about nine minutes all together. And I left about a, a, a minute of wiggle room there for like rest in between and stuff like that. So you don't have to just like rush through it or anything. So it should only take about 10 minutes with it all together. So that's it for this little routine. This should do a good job of getting that strength in and just getting that plantar fascia back to where it needs to be. Make sure to give this routine a try. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notified for each one of my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.